yeah while learning this language one challenge always comes and that challenge comes that when we learn how can we check that where is our progress or how much we have gone through when we started when when we started learning or how do we speak this is one of the challenge that when we learn or we are getting a fluency then how can we measure that where we are in this journey when we embark on this so one of the great example that whatever happens in your life or whatever event or incident you come across try to reveal that how i'm going to give you an example so yesterday every day i go around 3 so my son leaves the school around 3:30 or 3:40 he comes out and we collect i collect and come home but yesterday what happened when i went so generally i go there by i think 30 minute in advance or 20 minute in advance because i want to walk there is a huge boundary where i want to walk over there so this is my way that i follow so i went at the same time even i was a little bit late but not much uh, i leave home around 3:10 and i think that is my alarm that when it goes off i get ready i go to the school so same time i reach the school and what i saw that all the buses they are queued in the boundary itself at that time generally they should have gone to the school uh, premises where one by one they queue and uh, a student comes and you know they sit inside and then they go by number system but yesterday what i noticed that all the buses they are still standing in the boundary area where generally i walk but it it is it's a huge area it's not a small uh, and uh, because it's like it creates chaos or not comfortable because when it is empty it's good to walk but it was not empty so when i go uh, uh, when i went i saw the all buses are over there it's around uh, 40 or 50 buses yellow colored so i went back to the guard a security guard because i know if i confirm he'll be giving me the clue why they are still standing over there what they not what haven't they gone there to the school premises uh, where they actually pick up the student so the guard confirmed me that today a school decided to take a small kids like ukg or uh, lkg to uh, take for a tour in the bangalore so they went but still they have not come back and that is why because all buses they are there they carry a student so they, there might be a lot of a student that bus went on tour they will come and they will go in di- divided in the dividing in like different different area so they will catch different different buses if buses go so there is chance that some uh, student uh, yeah some student will be stranded at the school so that is why the all buses were instructed to not go in the guard also confirm me that the school said that he had already communicated through the message oh my god i i hadn't seen that so i said no no i haven't got any such email or any such message but when i clicked on my phone and i open it i got to know oh they have already shared that the buses would be going or leaving today 20 minute late compared to earlier day so i noticed that i saw oh it is true that they have already you know communicated circulated this message so uh, i noticed then i thought oh now we should wait but what did i realize because the student they go by uh, their guardian like me i go i pick up so they should not stay because we are already there so it should not be impacting their dropping so suddenly i noticed that the student they go with parent they started coming because uh, we were waiting there on the time all the guardian who carry their uh, children so we were we all were there and they started coming and we picked up and we came back so it was a good decision by a school see how did i narrate so this happened when we think something in my in our mind or we think what should i say how should i try that can i speak can i narrate something or not so this is the right way this is the very precise way that we can narrate or we can uh, think or say what happened yesterday we don't need to ingrain a lot of things just we have to imagine the incident or the we event that occurred or we were part of that 
so that imagination starts coming start lingering and we need to express that without hesitating without thinking because this experience or this uh, or this way of practicing or reflecting ourselves with ourselves i mean we are trying to see myself in the phone or in the mirror or speaking somewhere standing in you know, an idol so that if we are in that practice if we think that sentence is coming or it's going to be spontaneous so later on we going to speak anywhere either it is in reception or in hotel or during airport or wherever you go or wherever you wherever we go it will become spontaneous natural that we are not going to hesitate we are not going to our uh, we are not experiencing the voice that is faltering or stumbling while speaking with somebody that is generally happen when first time we practice or we start speaking because always and always that fear somewhere undermines our confidence level and the start the confidence starts sliding down so this is how we can practice or we can think that yes this is the way we can implement or gradually we notice that something is enhancing the confidence level the way of speaking and yeah so these all things matter so i appreciate that you all have been in this journey or you must be facing the same challenge that everybody of us we are non native we have started learning since the zero since the scratch so obviously we stumble we go through these all pros and cons these all hurdle that causes us to lose our confidence level but yes by doing this all practice one day we feel or somehow it realizes just that yes we are improving our communication skill so never would think that we are not able to narrate or we are not able to do or speak or reveal whatever we have in our mind because that causes some weird problem while practicing so don't stumble don't think a lot to uh, that may cause to undermine our uh, confidence level or that can seduce the fear so this is the way that we can go or speak fluently thank you and bye bye